In 1982, Christine Heathman founded Advanced Aesthetics, providing skincare treatments and advanced education to both pre- and post-operative cosmetic and reconstructive surgery patients. Recognizing the need to help women undergoing plastic or reconstructive surgery to look and feel their best, Christine pioneered the marriage of skincare and medicine, providing advanced skincare for congenital, dermatological, pre- and post-operative skincare and accidentally traumatized skin. She was the first esthetician to begin treating these disorders. Christine's mentor, Dr. Hale Tolleth, played an integral part in supporting Christine's medical aesthetic work. Christine learned how to care for surgically traumatized skin under the direction of Dr. Tolleth, who then began referring his plastic surgery patients to Christine. As her reputation started to grow, Christine expanded her aesthetic medical practice to include patients from the Botham Burn Unit and the Dermatology Department at Stanford University Hospital and other physicians around the Bay Area. Gaining a valuable education in identifying and treating various skin disorders, Christine Heathman became a skin expert and used her knowledge to develop the first paramedical training course licensed by the state of California. I worked with the medical community and I learned a lot about these skin disorders and, and deformities through physicians and basically through a lot of hard work and uh, that's how I learned my craft. Trained as a makeup artist and specializing in specialty aesthetics, Christine's knowledge of traumatized skin paved the way for her to become one of the first camouflage makeup therapists in the country. Her incessant appetite for learning took Christine down the coast to study under the direction of Robert Diemer at the American Institute of Aesthetics in Huntington Beach, California. Armed with new credentials, Christine opened up a training center inside her now-established skincare clinic in Concord, California. In 1984, the Advanced Aesthetics Training Institute was founded, educating students in the practice of color analysis, paramedical camouflage therapy, acne peels, and medical skin care. Christine developed the first camouflage course to be recognized and licensed in the state of California. I have a course that's been approved by the state of California and I've been doing this for 10 years and I've worked along with dermatologists and plastic surgeons and the plastic surgeon that I've worked with, he's been uh, my mentor for many years and I have worked that into the curriculum. Christine was invited to train in Europe in 1989 to conduct the first five-day intensive paramedical training program in Zurich, Switzerland. A week later, she presented a second class in Munich, Germany. Following the course, Christine received her license to practice aesthetics in Germany from the Board of Cosmetology in Dusseldorf. A year later, Christine Heathman was training medical aesthetic courses in Singapore, Malaysia, Australia and New Zealand continuing to teach medical aesthetic courses. For the treatment of traumatized skin, Christine has traveled to Austria, Brazil, Canada, and Singapore, in addition to presenting trainings in Germany, Switzerland, Malaysia, Australia, and New Zealand. She has returned to Europe many times as a highly specialized instructor and medical aesthetic presenter. Christine has authored hundreds of editorials and magazine articles throughout her career while building her aesthetic practice in Concord, California. She continued to offer advanced skincare courses in San Francisco, around the United States, and in other countries. In 1992, Christine withdrew her savings from the bank to formulate Glymed Plus. The first three products in the line were Gentle Facial Wash, Facial Hydrator, and Treatment Cream. A year after Glymed Plus was founded in Concord, California, the corporate headquarters was relocated to Spanish Fort, Utah. As more formulations were added to the Glymed Plus brand, Christine felt that she was missing the hands-on connection she had with her clients. While continuing to market Glymed Plus, she met cosmetic surgeon Dr. Brent Kennedy in 1993 and began teaching medically-based aesthetics courses while working behind the chair at Dr. Kennedy's Utah practice. Christine's vision of aesthetic education led her to establish the first International Medical Aesthetic Symposium in 1996. Held at Robert Redford's Sundance Resort, the two-day event brought together the top educators from the medical and aesthetics communities. The event became so popular that it was later moved to Park City, Utah to accommodate the annual number of attendees, and Christine turned the biannual event over to the American Aesthetics 
Education Association to focus on her expanding business. By 1995, Christine Heathman had established herself as a respected medical and aesthetic educator. She co-authored a chapter of the medical textbook with Dr. Renato Saltz and became the first esthetician approved to practice at the University of Utah Plastic Surgery Department with Dr. Saltz. She taught with Dr. Saltz, training advanced education in plastic surgery at the University of Utah and is the only skin care specialist invited to instruct plastic surgeons around the country on the uses and practice of medical aesthetics. In 1997, Christine was appointed Vice President and Director of Education for the American Aesthetics Education Association. Under her guidance, the organization grew and enjoyed tremendous success. A member of many premier associations, Christine was presented the Lifetime Honorary Award in 1998. Climate Plus also grew in 1997, acquiring additional space for an on-site training center and warehouse. In October of the same year, the first five-day Glymed Plus Advanced Aesthetics course was presented by Christine at the new facility. Since then, the Glymed Plus Institute of Skin Science has been training skin care professionals and elevating the role of estheticians everywhere. Concerns over who could practice aesthetics without a license in Utah troubled Christine, and in 1999, she teamed up with a number of estheticians and cosmetologists to petition the Utah State Legislature to adopt state licensing. How do Utah laws need to be changed to license estheticians? Well, currently, the consumers out there are unaware that there's no licensure. So when they go to a spa or they go to a skincare clinic, they believe that that individual that's working on their skin with acids is licensed and might have been trained. That's not necessarily the case. Licensure will ensure that there's a level of proficiency. Taking the fight to the congressional floor, Christine played an instrumental role in the establishment of Utah's Master Aesthetic License. Meeting with congressmen and committee to present the case for state licensure, Christine's impact on the State Board of Cosmetology paid off. In January 2001, House Bill HB 105 was signed into law, providing the first Master Aesthetic License in the country. Following Utah's lead, a number of states are legislating bills to incorporate a master aesthetic license. A celebrity in her own right, Christine has been cited at red carpet events. Donating generously to many charitable causes, Christine has contributed a significant amount of money to the Elton John AIDS Foundation, the George Lopez Celebrity Golf Classic, the Emmy Awards, and the Sundance Film Festival. In addition to Christine's charity work with celebrities, she is also working with cancer patients, donating her time and resources to such foundations as Women Beyond Cancer and Marie's Gift. In July 2008, Christine Heathman was inducted into the AIA Academy of Legends. Using her status to benefit people everywhere, Christine has made television appearances on a number of shows, including The Doctors. Obviously, what we use in this component is that is a high titanium dioxide concentration, which is a sun block. And because Michelle has a port wine stain, mm -hmm. it makes it very different. Her skin is highly sensitive to the ultraviolet radiation. And it's important that you protect that particular condition as well as be able to transform the skin. It's it's like a second skin. Skin of color can be extremely sensitive, and so when you're working with skin of color, you want to use ingredients that are going to be more compatible and that are not going to irritate. And one of the issues with skin of color is the pigmentary disorders. Lifetime Television's Balancing Act. And teach us about the science, yes, science of effective skin age management is Christine Heathman, master esthetician, CEO, and founder of Glymed Plus and the Glymed Plus Institute of Skin Science. Good morning. Well, good morning to you, too. Thank you so much for being here. Happy to be here and share the science of skin care. As well as numerous local news segments. Uh, will increase that firmness of the skin. So it's, it has an anti-aging benefit. So it's extremely efficacious for the skin. The most valuable protection 
You've got, you've shaved off all of those dead skin cells. Now you want to replenish those cells. Is, now, is that how you put it on? Well, that's the way a guy would put it on. A woman wouldn't do it that way. Okay. And neither would an esthetician. <laughs> and, <laughs> and we know that uh, your wife is a professional skincare right. artist, as I am. And so we want to do it the correct way. So we'll just, oh. and uh, believe me, everybody, I've never mixed shaving cream <laughs> and sunscreen together. So this could be a whole new approach to skincare. Yeah, maybe you're coming up with something new here. Okay, we're excited. We have Christine Heathman here, just back from the Academy Awards. Yeah, A lot of your you. products you use on yes. the superstars. I do. And you've had 20 years of Tw success with your line of, of products. I know. It's, okay. it's amazing. I can't believe it's gone by so fast. Winter is the absolute worst time for the skin. It's the one that actually impacts, slows down the cells, and actually ages the skin. Mm -hmm. So there's several things that need to be done. Most individuals think, well, if I go out and buy a thick cream, I can put it on, yeah. and that's going to rectify it. That's just absolutely not the truth. An accomplished educator, entrepreneur, and skincare advocate, Christine Heathman continues to break new ground in aesthetics. In 2012, Glymed Plus moved its corporate headquarters from Spanish Fork to Provo, Utah, to accommodate more office space and a larger warehouse. Now in its 23rd year, Glymed Plus owes its success to the hard work and dedication of CEO Christine Heathman. Over the years, Glymed Plus has launched more than 100 products. Under Christine's guidance, innovative formulations that repair damaged skin cells or reverse the visible signs of aging are being made available to licensed skin care professionals. More than three decades of dedicated service to the aesthetics industry has brought many challenges and rewards for Christine Heathman as she changed the perception of skin care. This aesthetics pioneer shows no signs of slowing down. In July of 2014, Christine Heathman was voted onto Utah State Board of Cosmetology, where she continues to shape the future of aesthetics. What's next for the successful esthetician, premier educator, mentor, product formulator, and CEO? Only Christine knows the answer to that question.